Okay, everyone, this is part two of riffs that are also killer warm-ups. Part one was well received. A lot of people made comments and suggestions for this one. So just so you know, we're gonna stay in standard tuning or drop D today. I'm not gonna do any half step or whole step D tuning, just to keep it easy for following along with one guitar. <laughs> I love doing that ending. It's really cool how it goes right into the D chord. The next riff was a huge request. A lot of people asked for this one. Okay, on to some Megadeth. Okay, here's a good one from Muse. He actually does it all with downstrokes, but if you really want to use it as a right hand warm up, go ahead and throw in some alternate picking. Of course it continues on okay the next one is one i learned the wrong way a long time ago but it was actually i think a better warm-up played in the wrong position so i used to play bomb track like this like that but actually if you watch tom morello he plays it in open position okay so either one could work as a warm-up uh, i like to move around a little bit so i'm going to do it this way first but i'll also do it his way Okay, we had to throw another Dream Theater riff in there, and uh, this is one of my favorites. It's really fun to play once you get it, and you can see how it's a really good finger warm up. I'm finding that the secret to these warm ups is you just have to do it so many times that you don't have to think about it anymore. Then you're standing there just warming up and your fingers are doing it themselves. That's the ultimate way to do it. Now this one's interesting because uh, when I first learned it, I learned it incorrectly. I did it here at the second position and it actually is a little bit of a better warm up when you play it here versus what it really is. Cause it's really drop D and played way up high. But let me show you my way first. You can choose whatever way you want to do it. This one you're working your pinky quite a bit, but the real version you're using your middle finger a lot. So let's go a little faster. Okay, now let's move it to the real version. Quick tip. Be sure to pick back here where the strings are a lot tighter. It's going to feel a lot better. And don't forget to mute that low E string. It's going to be a D because it's drop D at this point. But uh, with the tops of your fingers, remember we go over all the muting stuff on the website because I'm really particular about that. You don't want, especially with heavy distortion, you don't want your strings ringing out, okay? <laughs> quite have it at full speed but I'm getting there
Every time I'm in drop D, I have to do the Soundgarden riff. Okay, so that's 10 different riffs that make killer warm-ups. And trust me, my forearm right now is burning, so I know it works. Okay, try those out. Let me know if you have any success, and I'll catch you at the next video. Thanks again for all the suggestions in the comments, and uh, keep them coming, okay? Thanks, guys. Bye.